Erythromycin is an antibiotic that's very important to know, and its trade name is E-myosin. The reason it's so important to understand and to know is because it can actually be useful in place of penicillin when penicillin can't be taken. For example, if the patient has a penicillin allergy. It's very helpful and treats a wide range of infections, things like upper and lower respiratory infections, otitis media, skin infection, pertussis, syphilis, rheumatic fever, and can even be used in pregnancy to prevent group B strep. The way that it works, it actually suppresses bacterial protein synthesis, and this is known as bacteriostatic activity. So what it really does, it just prevents additional growth inhibits that growth of the bacteria. Now, unfortunately, there are some very important nursing considerations and side effects to keep in mind. First of all, it's important to understand that erythromycin can cause QT prolongation, which can lead to severe ventricular arrhythmias. So we know we have our PQRST, and so that QT interval, you know, which is really the systolic phase, is important to understand and to know that if we elongate that QT interval, interfering with that ventricular action. And if we elongate that long enough, we can actually lead to VTAC, okay? It can also lead to diarrhea. We want to monitor our our liver function test, our LFTs, because it is metabolized by the liver. We really want want to instruct our patient on proper dosage of erythromycin, because what can happen a lot of times is patients will be prescribed an antibiotic. They'll take it until they feel better, until they see the infection subsiding, and then they will stop. And that doesn't really completely take care of the infection. And so it's really important that they take the medication as prescribed for the entire term of the the dose. Another important consideration with all antibiotics, I know we talk about this a lot in the podcast, is that it's important to understand that you need to assess the infection prior to administering the medication. It's really important to assess and see what type of bacteria we're dealing with and what we're really trying to target prior to giving this. So if we're going to draw any blood cultures, we want to do it before the first dose so we can get an accurate blood culture before we start dosing the medication. And then we want to assess the infection. We want to see, okay, is this actually helping? Did it do any good? Are we actually treating the patient? So therapeutic class is anti-infective. Pharmacologic class is macrolid. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.